The pull-up isn't just about getting your chin over the bar. There are a lot of non-stimulating things you can do to make that happen, so that alone is pretty much worthless. It's about getting your chin over the bar in a way that results in the adaptations you're after, like a stronger and more muscular back, and that's a totally different thing. And this is why I'm such a fan of paused repetitions. There's just no faking them, and aside from being one of the best variations to dispel any illusion you might have about how good you are at pull-ups, I'm constantly humbled by them, they're one of the best tools we have for improving pulling mechanics, muscular development, and transferable pulling strength. Now, most people struggle getting their shoulders back and their chest up at the top of the pull-up because it's really hard, but getting strong at that position is how you get the most out of your reps. But the problem is that in a traditional pull-up, the amount of time you get to train that position is pretty minimal. You're there only for a fraction of a second each rep, and sometimes you arrive there only by the momentum that you generated on the way up, or maybe with the help of a little kip to unload that top position. And then when things get grindy, the mechanics can take a backseat to just getting your chin over the bar. And that's where paused reps come in. Strength is somewhat specific to the range of motion that you trained it in. And by spending more time at the top position, you increase the stimulus specific to that part of the range of motion. And over time, that extra time spent in that top position gets you stronger there. And when you're stronger there, you can stop struggling up there and start to improve your mechanics in that position. And then maintain those mechanics over more repetitions. And when you can do that, you end up with a more complete back exercise that transfers better to all other pulling movements, weighted pull-ups included. So over the last few years, I've dedicated more of my training volume to pause reps and less training volume to weighted reps. And as I've slowly set PRs and paused repetitions, my strength on weighted reps has improved along with my unpaused, unweighted repetitions. And this makes sense when you think about what's going on with the pull-up. It's that top part of the range of motion that is the most common point of failure in a set. And by strengthening the weakest part of the range of motion, the part that limits how many reps you can do, you end up increasing your overall performance. If you wanna move from being someone who merely dabbles in pull-ups, never really getting much out of them, to someone on the road to mastering the movement with the muscle and strength to show for it, paused reps are one of the best tools you have available. Not only will they bring about a whole new level of muscularity in your back, but they will translate to general pulling strength and weighted reps in a way that regular pull-ups just don't. So if you're weak at the top, if your technique isn't as clean as you'd like it to be, if you find your body weight pull-ups not translating over to your weighted reps, spend some time building your pause repetitions and you won't be disappointed. So that's gonna be it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.